Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another Swap Meet Madness video for you guys today. I have my tote bag ready, my Blockbuster tote bag over here at one of the coolest Swap Meets out in the world right now. Well, I don't know about the world, but uh, if you guys like these Swap Meet videos, hit that thumbs up button and hopefully we can find some cool stuff today. The Swap Meet is not quite open yet, but uh, it will be shortly. It will be shortly. It is so early. They just started letting the uh, actual vendors uh, come into the swap meet right now. And, uh, you know, only a couple cars have been let in so far. Like these people over here are setting up and everything. Everything probably won't be on and popping for like the next maybe half hour or 45 more minutes. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I just made it inside the swap meet right now and people are still you know, driving in to, you know, get ready to set up and everything. It's about uh, 5.35 right now. And uh, as you can see, it's still kind of, uh, it's still kind of barren. But, uh, you know, early bird gets the worm. Well, coming up on my first booth right here, which looks like it's just people that just threw stuff on tables, like, you know, pallet flippers and stuff. So who knows? We might come across something cool in here today. Nothing too crazy at that other booth. Mostly like electronic stuff and, you know, sports equipment and things like that. Still early. It's still early. Let's go over here and check my guy out over here that usually gets stuff off his truck and sometimes has movies. Well, this booth over here just has a lot of like, you know, plush animals and stuff like Woody and, you know, uh, Snoopy and stuff in here. Uh, they're still taking stuff off their truck over here. They have a lot of books and stuff. So I have a bunch of tables that they're going to be setting up full of stuff over here, which I'm sure I'll check back, check back later. But this guy sometimes has some cool stuff. Well, guys, at the uh, first booth that has movies here, it's kind of cool to see what they got going on uh, over here today. And uh, hmm, but uh, they do have some stuff in here. Some of them are kind of incomplete and things. But uh, the Dragon Ball, Queen, seasons of like SNL in here. But you never know what they're going to ask for, but we shall find out. Well, I just scored a pretty good deal over there. A pretty good deal. And I got a... Uh, my bag's full of stuff already. My bag is chock full of stuff already. And I... Uh, there's a lot of resellers over there. Like, there's this one guy that, like, goes through everything and scans everything. And he's obvious as fuck. It's kind of funny. Pretty rad. Pretty much all the stuff that you saw in that little quick clip I got over there is in my bag right now. Got it all for about $10. Now I came onto the outside of the track to where my guy is taking stuff off his truck and where he puts it all over the floor. So hopefully we can come across some cool shit. Well, I'm gonna have to come back to that guy. He's still taking stuff off the truck. There's one or two resellers just standing around waiting to go through all the boxes as soon as they come off the truck. I'm not trying to get in that mess. I, I, I don't like that stress. Just came across another table of uh, DVDs and stuff. Uh, how much are the movies right here? Oh, uh, how much are the DVDs? $2. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks, buddy. Okay. Rat pack might be something good. Toys being tossed over there. This one just got released on Blu-ray. My favorite, I mean, uh, 4K. 4K. You gotta go through some of this stuff. I wonder if Mr. Nichols is in here already. What is this? These are all a dollar a piece. Locked out. All right. Well, I came across another booth that had movies in it and stuff. I already looked at these boxes. Nothing really worth getting. They're like 50 cents a piece, so it's not horrible. Not bad prices or anything. But they do have like an old uh, Blockbuster case, like DVD, uh, DVD in here, one week rental kind of thing. You know, I looked through here, but let's move on. And just came across another booth that had some DVDs and Blu-rays. I think she said that Blu-rays are like three for five or something like that. But uh, yeah, or two for five. But yeah, I'm gonna go through here, see if I find some decent kind of stuff. They have video games, Call of Duty, War Horse, eh, Dream House. District 9, that was actually a good one. That one came out when I was at, when I worked at Blockbuster. Great flick. That was like, that, that rented like crazy all the time. Still going through this little uh, tub of movies and stuff like Amistad and everything. And look who came, man. Look who's here. You're at my swap meet, so. Hey, yo, come here, come here. Listen. I saw you post yesterday that you were in San Diego. Did you go all the way up there just to go to book off? Yeah. 
I did. Just to go to book off. Yeah, I had some movies that I had to get rid of. But there's book offs closer. Bro, I got two hundred dollars for my stuff. Oh, from when you, when you sold them? Yeah. So, you, went, you went to book off to do it? Yeah. You can't, you can't do I, that Amoeba I mean, or CD Trader? It's closer? Amoeba, they don't pay you. They don't pay you that much. Did you hang out with Fluffy at all? No. I, I did. I hit him up. Well, I, I tagged him mm. on uh, Instagram. Yeah. But, you know, he was probably busy. Yeah, it, it would have been cool if you did. Like, yeah. out of nowhere, you and Fluffy do a video together <laughs> and shit. That'd be dope. Yeah, I mean, I still haven't met this dude, so hopefully I can meet him one day. Oh, 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 oh look what she just did. Oh, she just took this out, too. Oh, SpongeBob, these are all the same stuff. Yeah, it is. But yeah, when you see what I got, you'd be like, okay. I mean, it's nothing super nuts, yeah. but it's kind of random to come across. Did you steal from me again? No. Mm, okay. I was actually here first, and uh -huh. I actually talked first, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You reselling right. bastard, get out of here. I knew that damn reseller was going to be here. Damn old Mr. Nichols. But yeah, make sure you guys check out Mr. Nichols, dude. He's on the road to a thousand subscribers. Uh, so help, help him get there, man. Subscribe to his channel. I have a link for it down below in the description box and in the pinned uh, comment here. Good friend of mine. I've been making videos with him for like five years now. It doesn't seem that long, huh? But it has been. But as you can tell, the sun's peeking its head out right now. A bunch of tools over here. But now that I know Mr. Nichols is here, I have to like keep my, keep up on my guard and try to find the good shit before he does. Who knows? I probably found all the good shit already that I'm probably going to find today at that first, first place that had movies. But you never know what the day is going to bring. Coming up on another booth right here. Not sure if they have movies, but they do have... Fallen down, a fallen down picture right here. That's kind of rad and some like movie related stuff. So who knows? They may have some DVDs and Blu-rays here. They do have uh, two little bins with some DVDs in here. Maybe some select Blu-rays. Maybe we come across something. And here's that Turbo Man. Nope. It's the Flash. Turbo Man's way better than the Flash. But <laughs> let's see what we come across. I think some of these ones have been here from previous weeks, like seasons of uh, 24 and things like that. Kiefer Sutherland just did a signing with, uh, I think, Mintage Authentics or CSR Collectibles or something like that. That's kind of cool. I should have I should have partaken in that. But sadly, I didn't. Sadly, I didn't. It looks like a lot of kind of like generic titles in here along with a hammer. Oh, that, that's a place to put movies. A hammer. Oh, vice versa. Nothing really worth getting over there. I didn't even ask the prices. I just saw what they had and was like, I'll pass. Calabunga, dude. I think me and Mr. Nichols should get both of these, or get this one, so we can start, you know, little surfing competitions instead of, you know, <laughs> uh, movie hunting competitions. Ooh, people fighting over the plush. People fighting over the plush. Back to where the guys are taking stuff off the truck, and now you see there's even more stuff to go through now. But look at good old Mr. Nichols is here, looking through some of the movies. Some of those ones look like they've been here before, right? Yeah, some of them, but you gotta look through it, man. Yeah, because you never know. Never know what you're gonna find. Yeah. Gotta go through and see what we come across, man. Hey, yo, 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 yo. What? You came across a, t a tub of toys? Yeah. Who that? Who's that? I don't know who is. That this mountain is that Mountain Man? I don't know, but I found, look, I found Brock Lesnar, I found The Rock, yeah, that's Undertaker. Cool. But yeah, he's over there hunting. We're going through this stuff. Gotta move these backpacks. Superman! Superman! And uh, what do they got in here? Gotta move some stuff. Ooh, could they sell it? Hey, could they sell this kind of stuff? Oh, shoot your eye out, no, kid. kid. Yeah, that's not a Red Rider. Oh, look at this. They got some blues. Yeah. They got some DVDs in here, too. Some stuff. We got some Blu-rays right here. We got, what is this? Peter Pan. All is better. What is this, like a like a bin of them? All is bright. What is this thing? All is bright. Look at this. Is this all, so you have to like, rip it apart to get in that's there? I'm doing. Hey, I'm here first. Get away. Hey, oh, shut oh, up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you're so, what is you, what is that? Oh, 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 oh. You're such a cunt. Hey, get away, get away. This is my stuff. This is my stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, bitch. You in the games. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just steal another game from you? Yes. I'm cause, sorry. Because you're a fuck. I'm sorry. What an asshole. Wait, what'd you come across? What movies did you see in there? So, I don't know what this one is. Let me see. All is bright. Okay. It's got Paul Rudd in it. So we got Don't Be a Menace. That, the Blu-ray is the one you're looking but for. But this DVD also. And then I found Super Mario Galaxy. I stole it from you again. You gotta be faster than that, man. You gotta be faster. I'm uh, sorry. So you guys kind of see how kind of weird and competitive it is out here when you try to find some stuff? With like, not, not just not just my friend Ryan or Mr. Nichols, but other people. You know what I mean? Trying to grab shit in front of you and stuff. It's kind of kind of insane. It's not my, my, not my thing, but 
at the same time, I gotta get my hustle on somehow. Just came across another booth with uh, movies and stuff in it. Uh, how much are your DVDs and stuff? A dollar each? Thank you, man. Are these the only ones you have? Just these ones in right here? Are these the only ones you have? Is this little box? Okay. A lot of DVD cases. A lot of DVD cases in here. Picked up one thing from that last booth right there. You know, I find it kind of cool and unique when I see a, a bunch of different resellers over here and what certain people get to try to resell on eBay or in like other, other marketplaces, you know? Like there's people that do t-shirts and clothes. Like me, I do physical media and stuff. But it's just kind of kind of cool to see because there's a lot of people out here that do that stuff. An Xbox? Hey, you reseller. What's up? This is what you make me, dude. From that last video that we did, you make. This is what you make me. Aww. Someone hey. sad. No, someone. That's not. That's not a sad face. That's fucking. That's a mean face. That's a mad face. Malibu's most wanted. Damn, guys. Me and Malibu. Mr. Nichols. Me and Mr. Nichols just came on this tub of movies right here. Hey, yo, you put that Malibu's most wanted. Yes, sir. And you just met the man, right? Malibu. Yeah, man. Jamie Kennedy, dude, that guy is awesome, man. W wasn't he dope? In, wasn't dude. he dope as a stand-up? Oh man, he was. He was hilarious. Yeah. I, I thought he was funny. Yeah, I, I was. I liked his stand-up too. Did you do you believe like? Could you believe him, him and Jennifer Love Hewitt were a couple at one time? I know. <laughs> isn't that isn't that insane? Especially the way he looks now. <laughs> I'm, no, no, no. He's cool. Don't get me wrong. But like you know, back like, back then they were like a couple and dating and all that. Hey, I always thought you were a ho oh. ho ho. Oh shut up, you <laughs> bastard. That's kind of a cool retro cover from back in the day. Old school DVD. Look at that. One and two. One oh, and this, two. This is pretty cool. That 70s show. Is that season six? No, season one. Well, now I have a, a bag full of movies now. And he came, <laughs> Mr. Nichols came across his Batman cowl. Yes, sir. Is that what it's called? A cowl? Yeah, it's a cowl. Why, what do they, what, why did they come up with that name? I have no idea. That's what, a, I I mean, was, look at this thing, dude. This thing is legit. Like, yeah. This is not no spirit Halloween. It might. Mask. Who knows? Like we, we don't know this day a company on the inside you know or anything. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this around the house and be like, I'm Batman. What? Oh man, just chilling. Uh huh. I'm at my swap meet right now. My swap meet. You know what, guys? Comment down below. Who swap meet? Whose swap meet is this? It's mine, son. Nah, it's mine, bro. It's hey, my I, 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 I've been coming to Bob's buying bag for years. Mm. We, don't, we, don't, we don't really like saying the name of it because we don't want other more resellers coming here. Yeah, but a lot of people know the name of it, but it's all good. They do. They it's do. all good. Well, guys, Mr. Nichols just left for the day. He usually comes for like an hour or two and then bounces. I have to stay here for a little while longer because the train. I uh, just came across another uh, bucket of DVDs. I think they're a dollar a piece. Iron Monkey 2 with Donnie Yen. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Iron Monkey, but the, the first one's amazing. Uh, if you're into martial art movies or trying to get into martial art movies, uh, the first Iron Monkey is where it's at. But that, that's kind of cool to come across. I don't see that one uh, too often, uh, you know, at places like this. But, you know, just going through some stuff, the toolbox murders. They also have, like, Manhunter and uh, some other stuff. But they're all a buck a piece, so let's see what I come across. They didn't come across anything at that one booth right there that brought out the DVDs. It's all right. But, oh, I also wanted to say, uh, my mom finally completed uh, the series of um, Scandal. All we needed was season five, and now she has all of them. Uh, now she's like binging, binge watching the shit out of that show, uh, Scandal. And for the person that sent that, those other DVDs, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for completing my mom's set right there. That's so, so cool. Well, it seems like everything's in full swing now when it comes to vendors and customers and everything like that. I think I'm gonna try to make it on over to my old Blockbuster boss. He has a booth here, and I'm gonna ask him if he's down to be part of the video. Well guys, I came across this other booth right here. They have like old school like retro toys, and like Game Boy Advances, and uh, a VHS tape of Hercules right here. But uh, I know this guy. I know this guy. I used to work with him at Blockbuster back in the day. What's going on, my brother? Hey, I'm Robert. What's up, Robert? What you been up to? Uh, well, we're selling uh, two dollar micro machines and yeah. one dollar tapes and. Um, so how often do you come out here to the swap meet to sell stuff for people that are wondering? Every Sunday, we're on the Saugus Speedway, right at the finish line. Yeah, man, right at the finish line. Uh -huh. But he has Check he, checkered flag. Dude, he has a lot of cool stuff here. Like I, I this thing, this came, <laughs> this like attracted me to his table with one of these like replica belts. 
I, it's, I think it's like a toy replica belt, but it's, it's still cool though. Mm -hmm. It's still cool. 25 for the WWE belt. Yeah. Uh, masking 75 for the 1920s uh, heater. And you said you said earlier today that you found like a, a parking meter or something. Oh yeah, this is my. This is what I got this morning. Yeah, you found it for 40 bucks. You said it sells for like 200 yeah. online. I'll take an offer. Yeah. You want to go back in time? And turn that thing right there. So what, what you been doing since the blockbuster days, man? Swap meets. Yeah. And garage sales. Yeah. And uh, so you, you're you're a, fl you're a flipper like myself, but for Santa Barbara swap meet, mm -hmm. Ventura swap meet. Um, sometimes I like to go shopping in South Los Angeles. Okay. You have you have like a website or like anywhere people can follow you? No. No. Just come to the swap meet and find yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. No, no social media, no YouTube, only here at Santa Cruz Swap Meet. Okay. Hey, do you want to let people know how I was to work with that Blockbuster back in the day? You were the most knowledgeable about movies, the only one who knew more about movies than me. But wasn't I also one of the, supposedly, one of the best salesmen they had there for like movie passes yeah, and stuff? that's true. You are a good, well... Ma well, I was, I, was, I was not, I was definitely not the worst. You never missed a day either. Yeah! <laughs> You were very predictable. Yeah, yeah, I was. That's true. But it's always it's always cool running across you, man. Very dependable. But make sure you guys check him out over here at, at the swap meet. If if you see the weird oddities and cool stuff, that's probably him. Well, that's cool, man. I got my old old boss, old manager uh, from Blockbuster uh, on video for a minute. I know he had that hat on, so you may or may not have saw his face that well. But if you ever in the swap meet over here. Let him know that you saw him, saw him in the video. Well, I'm not sure if I came across this booth or not yet or looked through it. But there's a table full of DVDs over here. Let's see what we come across. Oh, one of Mr. Nichols' top five favorite movies of all time. Baby Geniuses. Oh, and Corky Romano. Okay. Yeah, but Baby Geniuses is definitely one of Mr. Nichols' favorite uh, ones right here. Let's see what we come across. I Carly. Man, I feel sorry for her, man. For what you know, what's happened to her back in the day on her Nickelodeon days. I think that was a Nickelodeon show. If I'm not mistaken, you know, with Dan Schneider and not all that, all that mess. But uh, it looks like a lot of generic stuff. Has this one ever got a Blu-ray release? Cause this was this was a decent one. And crazy, uh, uh, what's it called? Crazy Beautiful. I always like that one. I just scored a really good deal, crazy fucking deal, on some TV show seasons from my mom. I don't know if she wants them or needs them, but like, they're like the first. It's like the first five seasons of both of these shows. And it's like in this bag too. I'll show you guys that shit when I get home. Well guys, getting out of the swap meet now. Two big bags full of stuff. Let's head on home. Well, I gotta get on a train first. But let's head on home, and I'll show you guys what I found today. Okay guys, I'm back home now. For, about to show you guys my pickups from the swap meet here. With my mom uh, right now. Only because uh, the stuff I'm gonna show at the end. Uh, well, you know what? I'll show, I'll show it now. I'm gonna show her the stuff that I got for her. And if she doesn't want it or watches it and stuff and she doesn't want to keep it, you know, we'll put it up on the bay or whatever. But uh, this bag, yeah, this whole bag is pretty much yours right okay. here. Well, thank you. And, um, <laughs> yeah, here. This, this bag is yours. Let's move this to the side. You can take take one out at a time. It's all, it's all kind of the same thing, but. I'm just going to be surprised. I'm not going to look. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> looking at it. I started to watch this mm -hmm. a, a long time ago that I think about it now. Yeah, yeah this one's good. El it's Elementary good. with Lucy Liu? Uh, yeah, it's uh, like a Sherlock Holmes thing, I think. Yeah. And, um, oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, because this is uh, season three. Season three. Of Elementary. Oh, second season. We got season two. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right there. And all these, all these seasons were a dollar each. Oh, Okay, yeah. Um, I've you know seen this on you know regular TV, and I don't know. I may have seen one episode, and uh, I have no idea. But um, yeah, it looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's and the, that the fifth season. That's season of that. five. Yeah. Okay, and then this is. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Season four. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Is that Tom, Tom Selleck? Yeah. Selleck. Yeah. Oh, okay, and this is the Se third season, yeah. right? Season uh -huh. three of uh, third season. Blue Bloods, yeah. Huh. It was all the same The same seller. The guys just like, DVDs are a dollar. <laughs> usually with like places like Swap uh -huh. Meets, they're like, you know. Second season. They usually, for seasons when there's multiple discs, they try to charge more for them. Right. 
But the guy was just like a buck. Just, I just wanted to get him gone. Okay, yeah, this is this is good because, like I say, I've never really watched it. Yeah. So now I can just see the whole. So thing now you now you have seasons one through five of Blue Bloods. Yeah, I don't know how many seasons. I there think were. there's ten. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I looked okay. it, I looked it up. I think there's like ten. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So then this is the first season of Elementary. Yeah. Yeah. I forget. Yeah, it's really good. I can't remember. Yeah, you can't remember it. Uh, vaguely. Okay, and then the, sorry, yeah. <laughs> put it in the pile. Then the fourth season. Season four, we got that right there, they're a buck a piece. Okay. But now on to the stuff I picked up, uh, right here. Most likely this this next batch of stuff is gonna go up on eBay. Uh, one or two of which may not, in case my mom wants to watch them or something. But uh, this show right here used to be one of my mom's favorite shows uh, of all time. And I think, uh, she, I think she, I think she, I think you auditioned for this show, this TV show, you know, back when it was on. But uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure why you didn't get, you didn't get the part. But uh, yeah, I think you're... that is uh, season two of Baywatch. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, that would uh, be me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was uh, a. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got this at one of the sellers, and um, yeah, this was no thirteen dollars. No. And uh, I also got um, okay. All, all this stuff cost me all together for everything. Okay. For thir I think I spent thirty six bucks for everything that you see here. Yeah. Okay. I also picked up Mega Man. Uh, this is uh, for the GameCube right here. It doesn't have the manual or anything, but it still sells for like $15, uh, $15 right there. Uh, also picked up uh, these ones for the Bay. This is brand new factory sealed. Uh, Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke, and Still Smoking. Oh. <laughs> uh, DVD double feature uh, right there. And I also picked up this Andy Garcia flick just because it was part of the, you know, part of the deal. I was like, he's like, grab one more movie. I'm like, okay. And I, I grabbed this one right here. Uh, things to do in Denver when you're dead. Never heard of it. it. It looks like it sells for like ten bucks or so oh, on, on eBay. I picked this one up just because I might want. I don't think I have it in my collection, or if I, I don't think I'm not sure if I've seen it before. And if I did, it was like back when it was on VHS or something. Uh, the People versus Larry Flint, starring Woody Harrelson. It was nominated uh, for two Academy, uh, yeah, two or three Academy Awards. Or also picked up this Richard Dreyfuss, Danny DeVito movie called Pushing Ten. Uh, this one sells actively on eBay for you know ten to fifteen dollars a piece. Ten man. Oh, Tin Men, sorry. Uh -huh. Pushing Ten. I'm thinking of that, that <laughs> fucking... Um, uh, what's his name again? Billy Bob Thornton movie. Sorry. Uh -huh. This is uh, Tin Men. Whoops. <laughs> why, why was I thinking Pushing Ten? Whatever. And I... Okay. And this this other stuff I got in here... Um, I got this Blu-ray at, at that first place that had movie. All the, all the rest of these ones I'm going to show you were at that first um, place I went to that had DVDs in it in this video. I picked up uh, Dragon Ball Z, the complete seventh season, uh, here on Blu-ray with it, you know, with the slipcover and stuff. I forgot how much it goes for, but you know, it was worth it was worth a pickup, you know, for for reselling purposes. And I also got um, all these right here, and uh, bam, I got season four of SNL, the original SNL. This is the only the only um, Saturday Saturday Night Live. That's ever been released on uh, DVD was the uh, you know the, the first cast. I also got season cool. the third season of SNL. I mean you can watch this too. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, third season of SNL. The second season of uh, SNL right here. This is like you know Dan Aykroyd, Steve, uh, uh, <laughs> you know all sort you know all sorts of pieces like the cone Coneheads and stuff. Yeah, we I used to. Uh, I think it was yeah every Saturday I I would be doing shows and uh, plays that is and stuff up in Sacramento mm. and every Saturday after the show we would rush to a friend of mine's house and switch on the TV for Saturday Night Live because we all loved it yeah ah oh, nice everybody that and um I didn't see it <laughs> I didn't see it when I was at the table but I got those 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 seasons of it uh -huh. but then Mr Nichols came across the first season at that table I think it was like underneath something. And uh, you know he hooked me up with it. Cause he got a he got a deal with it. He got a deal with the stuff that he got at, with the seller. So I have seasons one through four of us uh, the original Saturday Night Live. Nice. It'd be it'd be kind of cool if like they I don't know if this ever going to happen. I would love to see um, them them release seasons when Chris Farley and David Spade and Adam Sandler were there. I think like, that, that was that, just possibly just after the no season. hell no it this wasn't is, this is okay the season one seven, 1975 to 76 i know but fucking those, oh, those my, my guys weren't there until the 90s oh sorry okay <laughs> and uh yeah i also picked up this video game right here called super ball monkey or super monkey ball 3d this one sells actively for about 20 bucks on ebay as well uh mm. and this last thing i got it's kind of nuts this is probably like this is like the, probably the find of the day 
And I have to, I didn't even like look at it thoroughly and stuff. So hopefully all the discs are in there and hopefully they're not all scratched up and shit. Cause when you get the deals that you get at these places, you just gotta get it and keep fucking moving. You know what I mean? Don't sit there and like look at every fucking disc and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, especially at certain ones. And this one actually sells on eBay for 50 to $60 a piece. And that is uh, Doctor Who, the complete uh, David Tennant years uh, right here. And uh, I'm like, fuck, okay. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna pass up a set. It's kind of an awkward size and it's kind of heavy and shit. It has 20, 26 DVDs in it. And uh, yeah, the David Tennant years. I've never seen an episode of Doctor Who in my life, but this is the complete series with, you know, this guy playing the Doctor. You know what I mean? David Tennant and stuff. Yeah. I think this was a, yeah, BBC. BBC. It's a British yeah. show, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I thought. As a scene on BBC America. Uh -huh. But like I said, all, the, all, these, all this stuff that we showed you right now, uh, what was it say? Like 36 bucks. It all cost, all cost us 36 bucks. Or me, I was there. But yeah, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. That's all the pickups uh, that I got at the swap meet today. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. I was rock, rocking my blockbuster bag today. I had to do it. I had to do it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. You have any last words? No, not really. Just thank you very much. All right. See you guys <laughs> next time. Give this video a thumbs up.